Scientists from South Korea and China say a tiny man-made rock called LK99 could be set to supercharge the world's electronic devices, from computers to levitating trains. And the Chinese scientists made a video showing possible evidence that it works. Now, claims that this material is the long sought after room temperature superconductor are now causing massive excitement in international science circles and moving stock markets too. Why so much interest? Because up to now, it's been known that superconducting materials give a huge boost to anything electronic, but only work at extreme temperatures or pressure levels. So it can only be used as elements in large complex processes. But there's hope that this tiny pebble called LK99 made of lead, phosphorus, copper and oxygen would change all that. The excitement started on July 22 when South Korean scientists said they'd found superconducting material that worked at normal temperatures and ordinary pressure. But there were doubts and questions. And on August the 2nd, a committee of scientists in South Korea advised caution on accepting the claim without further testing. This is normal in scientific terms. Other scientists around the world need to reproduce the findings before there's a consensus that a, a breakthrough has been made. One Indian team tried it and reported that they could not get it to work. But a Chinese team reported that they could reproduce the results and released an academic paper and a Billy Billy video showing how they did it. Billy Billy is a video sharing platform like YouTube or TikTok. Now, the experiment was surprisingly simple. One of the signs of a true superconductor is how it reacts to a magnet. It levitates or rises or stands on its edge. Now here is a speck of LK99 in the Chinese laboratory. They only have a tiny piece, so they use a digital camera so that you can see it clearly. Now the scientist tests it by putting a magnet underneath it. And as you can see, it immediately stands on edge. As he moves the magnet under the substance, it moves to flips up. The work was done by a team of four scientists at the Hua Zhong University of Science and Technology in Wuhan. Now, to enable global collaboration, the Chinese scientists immediately recorded what they did in a full academic paper in English, which they've released for free access globally through a preprint server. Now, here's a copy of that paper, and I'll provide a link in case you want to read it for yourself. Other teams in China and elsewhere are also trying the experiment with mixed results. But one team in California reports results similar to the Wuhan team. Now, skeptics say that levitation alone does not prove superconductivity. They're right. More testing must be done. What will be the result if the South Koreans and the Chinese have got it right? Well, superconductors transmit electricity without heat loss, so it will make a huge improvement to anything that uses electricity. In 2014, German scientists used a 10,000 volt superconducting cable to replace a conventional 100,000 volt line. So the new one was five times as powerful as the old one. Or consider your laptop. You know, the speed of operation of a computer is mostly limited by the number of wires that move electricity inside each chip. And the density is limited by waste heat. With superconducting material, there is no waste heat. That means humans can make quantum computers. But of course, we first have to wait for more testing, more experiments, more proofs. One of the great things about this story is that it shows how science works by global cross-border collaborations with teams from different countries working alongside each other. You know, the US-led urge towards decoupling or de-risking from China, which of course are just new words for protectionism, specifically target scientists who want to collaborate freely around the world. Chinese scientists, even just students, are being made unwelcome in certain countries. That's sad. The LK99 project, however it turns out, shows the importance of making sure that science flies above the Five Eyes political gamesmanship that is presently creating geopolitical tensions. You know, the great French scientist Louis Pasteur said, science knows no country because knowledge belongs to humanity. It's the torch which illuminates the world. That's how it should be. Peace.